uh, final vlog update for the evening. Uh, got back here about four, yeah, four p.m. Uh, still didn't have a bed, um, and apparently we had to wait for it to be cleaned, etc. Uh, waited around for another hour. Uh, was told to go to the ward, where we waited around again, apparently for a doctor. Um, who didn't turn up and then the sister took us to the bed which it's not my own room so I'm not in isolation apparently and I'm in with two old boys and the whole thing's tits up they said uh, they were going to give you a bed they said uh, they were going to uh, give me a bed uh, and uh, my own room. room and whatnot. you do need it because um, I should be in isolation uh, because it is really intense uh, nothing available. Yeah, nothing available, you know. It's not the doctor's fault. Yeah, it's, it's not the nurse's or doctor's fault, but, you know, it's, it's a roller coaster already. So, no chemo today. Um, apparently, we'll be doing it tomorrow. We'll be seeing a doctor tomorrow. But, to be honest, the whole thing just seems a, a whole balls up. And, it just uh, makes you more anxious, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, they've, they've made it clear that I need to be in isolation throughout this. And if they're planning on starting chemo tomorrow, and I'm not in isolation, and then I'm not doing it. You know, they're gonna have to put me in a room. I'm not risking my life, you know, because they haven't got the spaces. You know, it's not their fault, like we said, but I'm not risking my life, you know, for the sake of, you know, spaces, bed spaces. They're more prone to infection, exposed to everyone else, than everything else. I'm going to be stripped completely, you know, of all my antibodies, everything, you know. It, it scares you. Yeah, it scares me, you know. And why should I risk my life? Because then got, you know, um, a side room, you know, which is supposed to be scrubbed down, completely cleansed. And it's clean in the wards. It is clean, but... It's not a point, it's, it's... It's old people, you know, they, they, they do carry, you know, these little say that. diseases and whatnot, you know. <laughs> can't say that. Yeah. And then not only that, I'm completely exposed. You know, the ward is wide open and, you know, airborne illnesses, anything, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this. If they haven't got room tomorrow, and then I won't be doing chemo until they sort it out. I think they'll probably start do the chemo there, and it's the couple of days. It's the, the when the, a couple of days of it probably won't make won't be will be okay. But it's after that. Do you know what well, I mean? it takes is a day for it to kill me, for me to That's get bloody an that? infection. Get you scared, but, yeah. just, just, but they'll probably do it. I'll update you guys tomorrow morning. Um, you will probably yeah. hear some chattering old man in the background. That's <laughs> for every war, <laughs> done every martial art. Uh, was 15 every stone. Cancer well, going. Yeah, had he's got every cancer going. Um, Bless him. But it's a nice chap. <laughs> yeah, he just talks. <laughs> All right, I shall speak to you guys tomorrow. To the pip. Stop saying that.